Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this video, I'll discuss about frictional force. So let's consider a block on the top of dock. A man is pushing this block along this direction. Along this direction, let's say. So the force of friction is opposite to the direction of motion, so it is along this direction. So applied force is along this direction, and frictional force is opposite. Okay. So friction is force exerted between surfaces in contact. So I already told you the frictional force is along this direction. So if initially let's say zero force is applied then no frictional force if applied force is increasing then the frictional force is increased and continuously becomes maximum value and at that point the body the box starts to move so this point this section this section is called a static region so whatever force that you applied body is not moving when the maximum force is applied over there so it start to move and after that smaller force smaller than this force is sufficient to move slightly smaller force is sufficient to move this body along the force applied direction so this region is called kinetic region so body is in dynamic motion so if you look at over there so in static region the maximum static force and zero force every frictional force in a static region lies between these two <coughs> now next one is the frictional force is proportional to the magnitude of normal force so frictional force is proportional to normal force so if you remove this pro proportionality sign then we have to use some constant so in a static region we use this static coefficient of static friction and in a kinetic region we use coefficient of kinetic friction so mu s is coefficient of static friction and mu k is coefficient of kinetic friction now look at here this is fs max so fs max the static friction at maximum force is equal to mu s times n in kinetic reason mu k is equal to force of friction in kinetic region is equal to mu k times n so we already know f s max is great, greater than f k from here from this graph you can say f k max is over here f s max is over here and f k max f k is in this region which is constant throughout this motion with same applied force so f k should be less than f s max so it means mu k should be less than mu s so here is typical values of this mu k and mu s so you can see over there for steel on steel mu k is 0 0.57 but mu s is 0 0.74 which is mu s is larger so every 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 set of values so you can see different values of mu k and mu s and depending upon surface its value is different so frictional force is different so it depends upon surfaces so by looking this, I can know the force of friction is parallel to the surface of contact. And it is always acting opposite to the direction of motion. This is property of friction. The next one is frictional force is independent of area of contact and relative motion between two surfaces. How fast they are moving and what is the area of contact is independent of, uh, independent of both of them. But it depends upon the nature of surface if you have a wood and a steel or wood and a 
um, wood on a carpet or if wood on clay its frictional force is different but if it is wood on a carpet then whatever area is in contact it doesn't matter so what is the relative motion between them also doesn't matter the frictional force between two objects is always in same and last one is frictional force kinetic and static which is proportional to the magnitude of normal force which actually gives this relation f s max is equal to mu s n and f k is equal to mu k n so one thing you have to remember here is that frictional force is always acting if body is not in still motion so in this region in this region look at here body is not in motion the box is in, uh, not in motion but still there is frictional force so whatever force you apply along this direction that is balanced by this frictional force that's why it's not in motion okay so you have to remember that so if there is zero applied force no friction so if there is force applied on it there is frictional force until it skips maximum value and after that start to move still there is frictional force but that frictional force is slightly less than the maximum static frictional force.